Welcome to the NFL Week 15 Sunday Slate Breakdown. We're bringing you coverage of all Sunday games leading up to Sunday Night Football. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined as always by Cody Malstrom and Will Schwartz. Let's move on to a game that I think had a lot more luster before last week. Uh, the Titans hosting the Texans. Bryce Young, not Bryce Young, <laughs> CJ Stroud presumed out for the Texans this week in concussion protocol. Will Levis coming off of that heroic weight gain comeback against the Dolphins on Monday Night Football. This is a spot where I'd look to fade the Titans, potentially, uh, coming off of that come from behind win on a short week. But with the Texans injury concerns, tough for me to really find much value in this game from a betting standpoint. Spread currently sitting at minus two and a half up to minus three. A lot of places over under 37. Cody, I'll go to you first on this one. Any thoughts in this game or kind of where either of these teams are at right now? Immediate pass. Um, yeah, the Texans, it's – oh, ouch, 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 ouch. I, I loved them all season. One of my favorite teams other than the Lions um, because of Tank Dell and the blasting of C.J. Stroud, just Will Anderson, all these brilliant young pieces. They have such a bright future ahead of them. But the injury bug came, and the injury bug plagued this whole team. And I, I, I can't in good faith back them in any sort of way. But the Titans, man, it's just this is it would be a buy high spot for them after the the win against the Dolphins, which well deserved win. Um, I, I can't, I just, I can't do it. We have no idea on the status of Stroud in terms of. Um, if he even is going to play, how he'll look while playing. I mean, that was a scary, scary situation. Yeah, I just absolutely, this is the uh, epitome of a stay away. Yeah, similar thoughts on my end. And the update on Thursday, as we're recording this, CJ Stroud and Nico Collins did not practice today. So I would assume both will be out this week is, is how I'm reading the situation. But Schwartz, any thoughts on this game? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been a pretty vocal Titans hater. I don't know if I would call that win over the Dolphins deserved. I think it was, I mean, at best a coin toss in a lot of ways, and they obviously didn't do themselves any favors. Until the end, this would be a spot I'd be looking to fade them. I don't know. It, it's really tough with the Texans with the whole Stroud situation. Run defense has been good, which is a problem for the Titans. They like to be Derrick Henry forward. This is a good sell high, and I think what gets on the Titans, but I think what gets lost is things were going terribly for the Texans before Stroud got knocked out. I mean, the Jets defense uh, was just having a great Jets defense type of day. This could be a really good buy low. I don't know. I, I'm leaning Titans at the flat three, but I can't officialize it. Uh, and w- without Stroud would be one thing, but I think we need Nico Collins on the field in order to be talking about uh, backing Davis Mills here on the road, even though this Titans team is one I look to fade almost every single week. Yeah, I'll have some thoughts on this on our player props show for the Sunday slate, but not for me on the side or total. That'll do it for us. Should be an awesome Sunday slate of NFL football here. Hope this Cowboys-Bills game lives up to the hype. Check out our Sunday night football coverage as well. Great game over there between the Ravens and Jaguars. We'll have game picks and player props for that one. Please like and subscribe to get notified when all of our videos come up. We're going to have a lot more content for you guys throughout the rest of the year and leading into the playoffs all the way up to the Super Bowl. So can't wait for all of that. Hope you guys have fun on Sunday, and we will catch you on the next one.